guys and gals. Now today I'm going to be testing out the oil pressure of my engine. Now the oil pressure of any engine is probably one of the most important things when it comes to your engine's longevity and you know its health. Now uh, why is oil pressure important? Well as we all know the internals of an engine are all metal. If there was no oil in the engine metal would touch metal and the engine would self-destruct. Because there's oil, you know, the oil, there's a film of oil on all the rotating metal surfaces inside the engine, on your crankshaft, on your conrods, on your camshafts. So because there's oil, this film of oil prevents metal touching metal. When your oil pressure is not, you know, as it should be, this oil film is not going to be there or it's not going to be the proper thickness or whatever, and metal will be touching metal and your engine will die. Now. Testing out oil pressure is, is actually very easy and all you need is one of these things and you need one of these things. This is an oil pressure tester. I got this on eBay for what, 20 bucks and it's all you're going to need to test your, your oil pressure. Now I know some of you are going to say, you know, I have an oil pressure gauge in my car. It says everything I need to see. I do not need to test oil pressure. Now. Uh, that may be true partially, but it's not true because sometimes oil pressure senders are faulty, the electrical connections are faulty, and your oil pressure sender might be feeding the wrong kind of information to your oil pressure gauge. So in my case, I have 30 year old wiring, but what's even worse, there's absolutely no connection, so my oil pressure gauge is completely dead, and I can't see anything. So my the only way for me to see my oil pressure is actually to test it out manually. Now another thing to note is when buying, I just lost something there. Now when buying these things uh, you have to be careful of the type of thread that your oil pressure sender is using. Why? Because you will be removing your oil pressure sender and you will be inserting this thing in the place of your oil pressure sender and it will tell you your oil pressure. Now there's three type of threads. There's MPT, that stands for National Pipe Thread. You will find that on most American cars. There's BSPTT, that's British Standard Pipe T something. That's actually found in most Japanese cars. And you have BSPP, uh, you, that is actually, it's not tapered like the other two. And you will find that on some, actually on many European cars and some other cars. So before you purchase this thing, be sure to do some research so you know what type of thread your oil pressure sender is using. In order to attach the oil pressure tester, the first thing we need to do is remove the oil pressure sender. To remove the oil pressure sender, simply loosen it with the pliers. But be careful not to apply too much squeezing force or you might crush your oil pressure sender. Now once the pressure sender is loose, unscrew it with your hand, but be sure to have a rag or a tissue, you know, right next to you to pick up any oil that might come out. Also don't forget to always do this only once the engine is cold because this will allow your oil to trickle down to your oil pan and if you attempt to do this with a hot engine a lot of oil will come out and the rag won't be able to to help you now once you have removed the oil pressure sender simply screw in your oil pressure tester fitting and attach the oil pressure tester now it's time to fire up your engine and keep a close eye on the gauge also don't forget to keep an eye out for any leaks around the place where you have attached your oil pressure tester now, every engine is different, so you need to find out the required oil pressure specs for your engine before doing this test. Now, my oil pressure needs to be as follows. It needs to be at least 4.3 psi at idle, and it needs to be between 36 and 71 psi at 3000 RPM. So, here you can see my idle oil pressure, and here you can see my oil pressure at 3000 RPM. As you can see, I am very nicely within my factory oil pressure specs. Now another thing you want to make sure to check out while you are te testing out your oil pressure is the difference between the oil pressure when the engine is cold and the oil pressure when the engine is hot. A large difference between these two readings is cause for concern because oil gets thinner as it heats up so if your oil pressure drops significantly as your oil heats up and you have the right oil in your car this could mean that your bearing clearances inside your engine are actually wearing out of spec. Now it's also important to take note of how the needle on your oil pressure tester gauge behaves. Ideally you want a perfectly steady needle. A bouncy needle like you see here 
could point to a potential problem. A bouncy needle can, o can also be of course the fault of your oil pressure tester itself, which in, my, which in my case is a pretty cheap one, so that could be the culprit as well. It's a good idea to actually bleed the air out of the holes of your oil pressure tester, because that too could be causing the bouncy needle. Now, to sum it up, uh, I am definitely happy to see that my oil pressure is within specs, but the bouncy needle is concerning me. Now, I will only know for sure if all my bearing clearances are okay and within spec once I drop my oil pan and take a look inside, which is something that I'm planning to do in some of my upcoming videos, so definitely do stay tuned for that. So, as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe, and see you next time on the D4A channel.